Okay. English 4, this was a writer's notebook entry, but I want you to think of it now. It's called multi-genre. I just want you to think, because we're going to start mouse here soon, and as we've already talked about, quote, literacy or reading is far more than we used to believe. It's not just reading words and pictures. It's for a movie, you know, looking at the camera angle, putting the sound, thinking about the sound, thinking about which characters in the foreground or the background, the lighting, the, the music, all of that is something you are reading and thinking about interpreting, which is literacy, right? The interp interpretation and application of meaning to stimulus. So it's putting all these puzzle pieces together, whether that's the camera angle, the lighting, the sound effects, to put it all together to know that it's scary or something. The same thing happens in a graphic novel. You're reading the words. Which word is boldface? What is the shape of the dialogue balloon? What is the shape of the panel itself? What is the character's facial expression and body language? You're putting all that together to get meaning. It's like a, a giant puzzle. <laughs> so here we have a giant puzzle. So this is multi-genre. Genres can be types of writing. Now it can be anything. It can be literally, you know, a story or it could be uh, a grocery store list. It could be your iTunes playlist. It could be your most recent web searches. That can all be read. It could be, you know, a, sh a receipt from your Black Friday shopping list. All of that can be read. So, we are looking at, this was actually from my old school where I used to teach, is an incident report, a behavior report. And we've got incident report. Holden, who is a student, was asked a question. He refused to answer. After repeated attempts, he finally used profane language, gave an obscene gesture. I then directed him to the office. He said he was not going. He said I did not have any power over him, and he stormed out the door and left campus. Okay, here's one piece of the puzzle. The genre is a incident behavior report. So what do you think about Holden? You know, he's a student. What else can you gather from this? Well, maybe he's got anger issues. Um, he certainly has a problem with authority, it looks like. Okay, well, there's a piece of the puzzle. So you've got a small idea of who Holden is. Moving on. Here's a letter. Now, we're not sure when, but it's a letter written from Holden to his mother. Dear Mom, Things are awesome at camp. I have been swimming every day. Yesterday, I even made it to the raft, which is really far out. Usually, it's just the older kids that can make it, but I did. I touched it and swam back. We had egg salad for lunch. Yuck. When you come to visit next week, will you bring those granola bars I like? I have been making something for you in arts and crafts, but I can't tell you yet. It's a surprise. See you next week. Thanks again for sending me. I just got. I just had to get out of the hot city this summer. The kids here are not like any in the neighborhood. I actually like these kids. No one has tried to start a fight yet. I love it here. And notice how we spelled here. Thanks again for picking up those extra shifts. I know we really can't afford this, so thanks, Mom. I love you. Love your son, Holden. P.S. Do you think Dad might come with you for a visit? Ask him when you see him next. All right, here's your second piece of the puzzle. It's another genre. It's another thing to read. So at first you formed this idea based off the incident report and you probably was had negative connotations. It had negative associations with it. But what about now? What can you glean from this puzzle piece? Maybe he comes from a rough neighborhood, right? He says the kids here are not like any of the kids in the neighborhood. I actually like these kids. No one has started to start, tried to start a fight yet. We know mom is probably middle to lower economic class. How do we know that? Well, she's working shifts. You know, if someone who has a career, you don't call it shifts. She's also picking up extras just to send the boy to campus. What else can you quote unquote read? I want you guys to think. Maybe the parents are separated. Why might we say that? Well, it says, do you think dad might come for a visit? Ask him when you see him next, as though the parents are not living together. So now we're getting a bigger piece of the puzzle, and now maybe we can relate back to this first one. Boy, maybe some of this home life is why Holden is acting out in class. And now you might think different about Holden. Maybe at first you just thought he was rude, and now maybe there's a reason for his 
acting out in class because we found it here in a different genre, a different thing that we are reading, in this case, a letter. Here's another one. A report card. Tardy, 22. Absent, 18. In English, A+, plus. Math, D-, minus. History, D, Science, D, Psychology, C, Gym, E. All right, what is this puzzle piece? Tell us about Holden. Well, he's missing school a lot, so maybe he doesn't like school. Or maybe we know because his mom is struggling economically. Maybe he's home helping out mom. Do you think he's a smart kid? I mean, he's getting an A-plus in English. And maybe he's coasting, doing just enough to pass in the other classes, but really doesn't care about the other classes. So when he wants to, he can perform, right? He's getting an A-plus in English. But the rest of them, maybe it's because of his absence and tardies. And again, maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe it's helping out his mom. Maybe it's the rough neighborhood in which he lives. Maybe he's getting beat up because he says in the letter, no one's tried to start a fight yet. We know he doesn't like school because he had the behavior report. But we're starting to put the puzzle pieces together by reading different things. Just like in a movie. You're reading the camera angle. You're reading the lighting. You're reading the sound effects. And all of that put together is your interpretation an application of meaning to stimulus. The stimulus being the lighting, the sound effects, the camera angle. Here, the stimulus is the letter so far, the incident report, the uh, report card. Well, here's another genre for Holden. It's a, ro a grocery store receipt. Joe's Corner Store sales receipt 5 2 11, Monday 10 03. Item candy 2 98 Cigarettes 1 7 dollars. Liquor 1 5 99 Paper 50 cents. What can we tell from this? One, he's a kid. Two, maybe he's into some stuff he shouldn't be into, cigarettes and liquor. Or maybe he's running that back for mom. We don't know. He does live in a rough neighborhood. His mom is poor. Paper, though. Maybe paper for writing. Maybe that's why he does so good in English. Effortlessly. He's a writer. He's thoughtful. We know he's smart. Maybe he's writing in his journal. These are things that we can put together from looking at two of the puzzle pieces. How does this one, though, the receipt, relate back to this? And his tardies and absences. Was he skipping school? It does say Monday at 10.03, but how do we know it's not summer? Maybe he's not in school at this time. Well, he should be. May. Second should be in school. So maybe he's skipping. Maybe he's doing it for mom. Again, we're trying to put all the puzzle pieces together. Here's another genre. This is a poem that he gives to his girlfriend from Oscar Wilde, Panthea. It's the second stanza from the poem, but again, he wrote it to his girlfriend. That is, Holden wrote it to Bella. This is the poem from Oscar Wilde. So one, he knows who Oscar Wilde is. You know, one of my favorite poets and writers. We know he's good in English. We know he's probably using paper to write. So he certainly has depth. But maybe right off the bat, we didn't realize that because we didn't have enough pieces of the puzzle. We didn't have enough stimulus to read. So here's a poem. For sweet to feel is better than to know. In wisdom is a childless heritage. One pulse of passion, youth's first fiery glow are worth the hoarded proverbs of the sage. Vex not thy soul with dead philosophy. Have we not lips to kiss with, hearts to love, and eyes to see? So perhaps he's a bit of a romantic. He, again, knows the Oscar Wilde poem, right? So you got to put everything together. Now, eventually, I came down and I asked you guys, how does one of these genres capture a person? Is it simp or how does one capture a person? Is it simply a report card? Is it a receipt from the grocery store? That tells us what's important to that person. Maybe it's a love poem, but as you read the pieces above, you gained a better picture of each person at through each piece of writing. So what I wanted you to think about is all the ways we could learn about you. Uh, again, maybe a receipt that's crumpled up in your pocket. Maybe, you know, your car gets broken into and you have to list all the things that were in your car that were stolen. So, you know, the stuff that's important, you're lying in your car. Even if it's just a insurance report, that tells about you. 
Maybe it's your iTunes playlist. Maybe it's your Google search history. Uh, maybe it's your Netflix movies that you've watched. All of those are things we can use to read about somebody. Now I'm going to give you an example here. You got to click the next one, but it's going to be the, the video is a, a clip from Back to the Future. So hang tight and we're going to read that.